All right, what's up YouTube? So the moment all of you have been waiting for, I have at least for probably, I feel like the last six months trying to take apart this 125. It's finally in the garage if you saw my last video. I got both bikes here, set up the bench, got everything situated, all my tools and everything good to go to uh, start tearing this thing apart today. Finally, like I said, first tear down video, well, the only tear down video. Um, I'm not sure how far I'm gonna get today, but it's super nice outside. It's like 65 degrees, no need for the heater, so I'm out here trying to get the most work done I can today. So uh, my plan or goal for today is basically to strip everything down to frame. Um, I might have to split this up into two separate parts um, or two separate videos, depending on how long um, and how much footage I have. But regardless, tearing this thing apart, I'm gonna jump right into it, start ripping stuff off this bike and uh, trying to organize it so it'll all go back together smoothly. So I'm gonna bag everything, label everything, which is probably gonna take me a little bit longer, but regardless, just to make sure I can get this thing put back together without losing most of the parts. I do have a couple bolt kits, replacement bolt kits, but I wanna be able to know what goes where, what size, blah, 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 you guys know the deal. So without, uh, without further ado, start ripping this thing apart and um, get right into it. If you guys are new and this is the first video you're watching and you don't know what I'm doing with this, this is gonna look like a 2018 KX125 with the, re, with the 2018 KX250F plastics, the whole conversion kit and everything, the thing's gonna look brand, brand new. So if you guys are new, hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up right now, go smash it if you're excited to see what this thing's gonna look like. And if you guys wanna see up to date as I'm actually taking this KX125 apart, I have a dedicated Instagram account, it's just at Project KX125, it's on the screen right here. Go follow that. I post pictures as I'm actually working on it, taking it apart, so I probably already have a few posts on there from uh, when I'm actually filming this video, so definitely check that out. Check out my personal Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan, for uh, other miscellaneous, uh, actual, like, legit posts, and you guys know what I'm saying, so. Without me talking anymore, we're tearing this thing apart. This impact is definitely gonna save me a lot of time taking this thing apart. I got, like, two different extensions. I kinda like to be able to hold on to it better, but it's definitely gonna save me time from doing it all by hand and uh, just zip these things out really fast. So jump start, starting doing everything. Your box has definitely seen better days. That thing's nasty. It's not too bad about the filter and everything in cage was just caked with dirt. Never been changed in the past like year at least. I'd say the pipe being a little bit loose, as you guys can see, that might have affected uh, why uh, I can literally pull this out. Like, they're not even tight at all. Wow. That could be uh, the starting issues and it was just sucking in air, pretty much. I'm also pretty sure that this tank is uh, supposed to be attached more than just this front screw, so this thing just flopping around like that. I guess the seat did kind of hold it, but that doesn't seem right for it to just be able to slide up and down. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's like that, but it's obviously missing a, a clip, the little clip thing that hooks on. I don't know. So I guess I only got one bolt to take off to take this tank off. It's literally just, I could loosen this with my fingers pretty much. So yeah, this thing was thrown back together. Also, by the way, I want to mention that all of the, uh, the stock parts pretty much will be for sale. So if you need something, DM me on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan, if you need a specific part. So um, the wheels will be for sale. I don't, they're all like spray painted up. I don't know if anybody would want them. You can definitely get it off the, uh, the paint with like just a good solid power wash. But the whole pipe, the silencer, it's stock. I'll clean everything up, make it look new. Maybe I'll throw it on my website or something if uh, people don't reach out. Then that way people can go if they want. 
um, the radiators, the, the forks, triple clamps, these bars I'll probably just throw out their junk unless somebody wants maybe like 10 bucks for the bars and then I'll like five dollars to ship or something like that. Um, all the rotors, um, the front brake, um, pretty much every, I'm not using the, uh, the subframe, the air box, um, I think that's pretty much it. But I'll have a bunch of parts for sale so like I said let me know if you need anything for the bike and I might have it. And uh, if you need like an OEM part or something like that and you don't want to spend stupid money, I'll sell the parts really, really cheap just to get rid of them. I don't want them sitting around. But um, yeah, I'll clean them up really nice in the parts washer so they'll look new. And uh, yeah. Pretty much didn't have any bolts in here to uh, hold the air box and they're all pretty much already taken out. It's whoever took it apart never put them back in. I didn't really think that uh, through too far when I took the wheel off. The whole bike tilted down. I was like leaned over. It almost hit me in the jaw. So uh, I'm not the uh, I'm not a pro mechanic. Like I like I've always said, um, us YouTube mechanics, amateur mechanics. You know the bike will get taken apart. Maybe not the right way. Whatever. But um, you got to do what you got to do, and I'd start ripping stuff apart. But take off the uh, the forks here. Get on that, and then um, get on. I think I'm just gonna take off the shock. Take off the swing arm. And then I'll get to the motor and stuff last. But it hasn't really been too long. Filming definitely adds, it probably doubles the time it would take somebody normally to take apart a bike because I gotta set up the shot each time, hit record, make sure it's in, sh in focus, all in the frame and stuff like that. So it does take a little bit longer to actually film the process. Uh, I'm not complaining at all, but I'm just telling you, probably takes double the time it normally would for somebody to rip apart a bike for sure. So I think I'm gonna set everything in one pile in boxes to uh, clean and then put for sale like I'm saying. I think I'm gonna bag everything and I can remember what I'm taking apart. It's hard when somebody else, like if somebody's helping me and laying stuff out, it's harder for me to remember, but I can pretty much remember where stuff goes. But I, like I said, for the, the major part, I'm gonna bag it, label it so I know because it's gonna be taken apart for a couple weeks and I don't wanna lose anything. And that way if I do forget, um, they're all labeled and I know. So there's a little tip for the for the guys that don't know. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but if somebody doesn't know, I wanna inform them a little bit. I haven't really been um, explaining how to do things, but just unscrew things, take it apart, try to remember where it goes. And luckily with me, I'm filming pretty much everything, so I kinda know where what goes if I rewatch the videos. But um, take pictures, do all that, and uh, definitely will help you in the uh, when you're going to put it back together and you forget where something went and you luckily took pictures but um, if you didn't, then uh, you're kind of lost and you're searching, but definitely take pictures or video, it definitely helps. What's left is to uh, take off the forks here and then take off the swing arm next. That kind of, it balances it out so it's not gonna like tip forward once I take the swing arm off. So take the forks off first and then I'll move to the back. While I was filming, uh, taking off the forks there, a mailman pulled up, dropped off the package, assuming it's for the 125, so we'll open it up real quick, give you a little sneak peek, I guess, and uh, may as well. I'm filming anyway, so I'll show. I'm not really sure what it is, but we will see. Oh, I think it's the, um, so I had to order two separate, or I had to order another fuel tank. So I had to order a KX250F tank, the 20, 
this I think this is off an 18, but they're all the same. Um, so I actually ordered a 2017 KX450 tank, and apparently they're they don't line up with the C and the subframe. Apparently they're two different um, tanks. I guess the where they bolt up the plastics don't fit. I don't know. So I had to find another tank scramble on ebay and i happen to find one so if anybody needs a 2016 through 2017 kx 450 fuel tank brand new let me know dm me on instagram as always if you're interested but um yeah i have a brand new take all the it comes with the gas cap all the fittings everything so let me know and uh, I have it for sale because I don't really need it anymore. But luckily I found one of these on eBay a little bit cheaper because OEM you have to buy all this other, like all these other attachments with it. And I think it's like $480 for a fuel tank. Doesn't even come with a gas cap and all these little fittings. $480. I didn't pay that, but that's insane for a fuel tank. So, and it's because it's OEM, but still, it's a lot of money for a fuel tank if you need it, if you're trying to do a similar build to this. Thing was kind of uh, seized in there so it was a little bit difficult to take off the top triple clamp so I can kind of pull on it better and but every single part is just caked with mud like look at that swing arm which is caked like this thing has never ever probably seen a power wash in in the past like year it's so bad but you know what that's what happens when you buy used bikes and it'll make it better um, more of like a better transformation so like it looks really bad right now and then once it's done done it'll be like wow like the, the before and after will be a lot more satisfying, I guess you could say, so. I don't, there's really not that much to like lay out and label, but well, for the most part, every single bolt is getting replaced that you can see. Two kits that I have, because I want it to all look brand new. I don't want any like rusted um, bolts or anything. Like, if I'm doing it right, I want everything to be brand new, or basically what you can see, which is pretty much everything, I want brand new as if it's coming off of the showroom floor, pretty much, that's what I'm going for, so. If you guys uh, have any tips or whatever, definitely post them down in the comments about building bikes, any uh, tips and tricks maybe, some little uh, things you guys have, little specific things I need to know, so let me know in the comments if uh, you've ever, because I've never really, in detail, taken like, split the cases, everything is getting replaced, the whole motor's getting replaced, every single bearing, seal, every single nut and bolt like I was saying. So give me some tips in the comments down below. Now give me some uh, ideas or things you'd want to see, some things you want me to go in detail on, like say the carburetor, top end, bottom end, like let me know specific things you want me to like go in depth, how to do it, how I'm actually doing it, versus just like time lapsing it and doing it that way. So like I said, let me know what you want to see and I'll uh, try to do that because I read pretty much every single comment. So I'll see it at some point or another and uh, I kind of like your guys' feedback and see what you think of the build so far. And uh, maybe some parts you want me to put on there, what parts you recommend, and uh, anything pretty much. Just let me know. Okay, so after taking the swing arm off, I think I'm gonna wrap this section or the first build series video up and then I'm still gonna work on it today, but then this will be in part two of taking the bike apart and the motor and everything will kind of work into um, using the wash tank tomorrow when I clean up most of these parts, get all this grime and stuff off the shock and whatnot and clean everything up like it just caked with mud and I can take the power wash out since it's still gonna be warm and uh, bag everything up and stuff like that. But I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Like I said, if you guys wanna see what this thing's gonna turn out to be, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see the rest of this build. And uh, yeah, like I said, I made pretty good progress today. I'm still gonna rip everything out for uh, part two, but um, I gotta drain all the fluids out of the radiators, drain the oil. Um, I probably should have done that to begin with, but um, we're here now, I gotta do it right now. But I'm going to cap the video off here. Like I said, if you guys are new, hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. Share if you want to uh, 
share with your friend that wants to build a KX125, share with your friend that has a KX125, and uh, yeah, off of that, I'll see you guys in the next one.